Hey, how's it going? Welcome to NFC Transfer Talk. Reports have come out in the world of Liverpool Football Club about a player in which we have supposedly submitted a bid and a player in which we was linked to sign in the January 2021 transfer window during that 20 and 21 season, which was disastrous because all three centre-backs got injured and that was a timely fashion ice cream van going past. And this is Persia's from Torino. He is 23 years of age. He will turn 24 on 26 November 2023. He stands somewhere in the region of 6 foot 2, 3, something like that. He's also right footed. Many players as a centre back and can play right and left perfectly well. His value, well, I won't say perfectly well because when I've seen him play recently, he doesn't look perfectly well. But anyway, his valuation on transfer market is 25 million euros, which is around 21, 22 million pounds. And his contract length is up until 2026. He signed from Ajax. Uh, for Torino in the summer 2022 transfer window for reported 9.4 million euros, which is around seven, eight million pounds, something like that. Uh, this season in all competitions, which I don't have because transfer market always do that, but they put the full stat, so I have to go find it. Uh, this past season in 2022-23 for Torino, he played 36 games in all competitions with one goal and two assists. In the Serie A, he played 30 games with no goals and two assists. The Italy Cup. He played three games, one goal, no assists. Eredivisie, he played two games, no goals and no assists. And the Johan Cruyff Schaal, he played one game, no goals, no assists. So why is he playing in the Eredivisie division? Does that make sense? I signed in August, but season would have kicked off. That's the reason why. So, there's a lot of talk of Persia's. Asif, welcome to, welcome to the show. There's talk of uh, Persia's joining Liverpool Football Club. It looks like as if this is the one that they have decided to... Um, Pink point as the centre back that they want to sign. Of course, there's still a midfielder that's out there that uh, they're trying to sign because, from basically what's going on, narrowing it down, a pre season will begin in about a week's time of, of some sorts. Uh, they're prioritising a centre back, which is Persia, is the one that they pick. And also, they're looking at midfielder, which is Romeo Lavia. Now, there are multiple midfielders that are out there, and again, I've said this many, 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 many months ago. Are we signing to add or are we signing to replace? And when I said are we signing to add, it will just be replacing the three that I've gone. When I said replacing, it means replacing the bullshit players that are at the football club. But we know we are spineless. We know we need brain surgery. We know we've got no common sense. We know that are a bunch of idiots at the football club because a player like Persia should not be the player at the centre back that we should be going for. The centre back that I talked about when I dropped the bombshell, a centre back that I've been paying attention to and keeping an eye on, had in my back pocket in the summer of 22, waiting, waiting, waiting. When are they going to click on? When are they going to click on? All oh, season long. When are they going to click on? When are they going to click on? Nope. Castello look here, but that's the centre back Liverpool should, football club should be going for. An actual left footer. And he's like Kanate, a beast, a monster of a centre back. He's linked with RB Leipzig. Chelsea have tried to sign him in the January 2023 transfer window. That fails, so they're going for Badashil. Benoit Badashil of formerly of Monaco, I believe. But they're supposedly going to be coming back in for him, according to reports that I've seen in the last 24 hours or so. So from my perspective, the fact that Liverpool are just doing this, what Liverpool tend to do is whenever someone says that they want something, they will do everything physically possible not to sign that player, even though that is the right choice. Like how many Liverpool fans were saying, let's sign Jude Bellingham, but then they came up with every excuse under the sun not to sign Jude Bellingham. And they're doing the same with another player, by the way, which is crazy to me. And I'll get to that towards the end of the show. Fernando, welcome to the show. Figo, I'm sure you are happy that Henderson is linked with. Not really, because... I saw his, I didn't see his response per se. I saw a report which was Henderson definitive response or something along those lines. Didn't read the report. Don't care. He doesn't deserve to go get the Arab money anyway. Because we all know that he's got a phobia of the Middle East. Based on his comments before the World Cup talking about how, you know, there's human rights issues over there. Like there isn't any over in the West. But again, there's more issues in the West. I live in the bloody West, by the way. So he's an idiot. He's an absolute bona fide idiot. He ain't going to go anywhere because Klopp's going to say he wants him to stay. Klopp wants to keep all of him, which, again, you have to look at the protection of society and the loyalty, loyal society as well. Persia has never heard of uh, about him. I'm sure uh, we will go for him. We're going for him. We've already submitted an offer, and now we're coming back, back with a second offer. So let me get to the actual reports. People, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. So first, a report I'm going to read, which is by Football Talk. I talked about this previously before. This is 5th July 2023. Uh, Jit wrote this report, Jit IT, by the way, like Jet Lee, but Jit Lee. <laughs> we don't say Lee, but we'll just call him Jit Lee. So Liverpool submit formal bid to sign, bid to sign a Trino Ace Persia. Now, what I will certainly state, a report did come out, which was claimed that 
uh, Liverpool submitted an offer, uh, a low ball offer. This was a low ball offer which was swiftly rejected by Torino. Then I saw this article, literally the next article I read. I was like, oh, okay, so these are hit the name, a nail on the coffin. So Liverpool reported submitted an opening, uh, 26 million pounds, 30 million off, uh, uh, euro offer. Uh, to sign per shares this summer as per Italian outlet Tutor Sport. The Reds were long term interested, uh, hold a long term interest in Dutchman as the Merseyside club were linked with a move for him last summer. What, in the summer 22? Yes, we were linked, but go back to January 2021, that's when we were heavily linked with him. But uh, they never formalized their interest, and in, uh, in the, the end, of Torino purchased the defender from Ajax Amsterdam uh, in a bargain £8 million deal. There you go. The 23 year old enjoyed a stellar debut campaign in Serie A. Uh, our last term, I said, yeah, last term, and has managed to establish himself as one of the emerging part of Ivan Juric starting 11 in no time. It appears after being impressed by Scher's display in Torino, Liverpool have decided to reignite their interest in signing the defender in the transfer window to bolster their backline. So, yes, th this is what it looks like to me that Liverpool have decided that he's the guy that they're going to go for, which is crazy to me. It's criminal what we're doing. Like, literally. I will say this, and I will say this honestly. This is my honest opinion. Those people at Liverpool Football Club who are the decision makers need to be arrested. I'm being dead serious with this. I know people don't like my strong opinions. Some people don't care. People call me crazy. People say I don't know what I'm talking about. That blah, blah, whatever. You cannot compare Persia's with Castello Luque, but it is criminal. It's like saying that Joe Gomez is a better centre back than Virgil Van Dijk, or even saying Lisandro Martinez is a better centre back than Virgil Van Dijk, or even saying freaking Harry Maguire is a better centre back than Virgil Van Dijk. It's criminal. Arrest that person. That's how stupid it is. It's literally stupid. How much uh, did Torino want in order for him to join Liverpool? I will get to that shortly. So the report goes on to say, according to the report Tuto, uh, by Tutor Sport, Liverpool have already submitted an opening £26 million, pound, €30 million Euro proposal to sign shares, but Torino rejected the bid and they want at least €34 million, pounds, €40 million Euros, uh, to let their star man leave. Shares to Liverpool, it goes on. That's a sub and it gives a bunch of other BS, which I don't really care about. So they want €34 million, pounds, €40 million. Euros. The next report, which is by uh, Football Italia, I think this is the one I saw originally. Uh, Trina reject offers from Napoli, Liverpool for Persia. Yeah, this is the original one that I read. So on Football Italia, I read this one, then I saw the Football Talk one, and I was like, oh, so we made £26 million offer. Wells is also worth £26 million, £30 million. Euros. That's supposedly going to London, to the white side of North London. Mickey van der Ven from Wolfsburg. This just shows. That when we have a target, we just wait around and we just make a lot of BS up and then we get caught napping. Someone else comes in, swoops in, hijacks the deal. And then we're like, oh, no, but it wasn't really a deal. Let's go for the next guy. Pressures, basically. So according to Tutor Sport, uh, Sport newspaper, Torino have rejected bids from uh, from Napoli and Liverpool for the defend, defender pressures, but expect the Reds to return with improved offer. So that's the first part on the actual um, article. It says uh, the Serie A champions, uh, offered 25 million euros plus 3 million euros in add-ons uh, tied to the Champions League qualification in 23 and uh, 24. Liverpool offered 30 million euros but both proposals have been rejected by Trino. So they offered 25 million euros which is like 21 million pounds. This is uh, Napoli and then we had offered 26 million pounds uh, 30 million euros but again that was rejected as well. As was classed as a low ball offer, theirs was not Napoli but of course we know that Napoli um, need a centre back, especially because Kim Inge is on his way to Bayern Munich. They will need a centre back. They were linked with uh, Max Kilmer from Wolves. That doesn't look like as if it's going to happen unless he pushes a move through. Who knows what's going to happen over there? But from our perspective, we should be going for Castello Luque because it's the easiest deal to do. I, I said it will of course Turan, but they're just stupid when it comes to Turan anyway. So that's what they're actually stating. Let's go to the next report, which is by. Uh, Empire of the Cop, Liam Tog, uh, Toga wrote this two hours ago. Jurgen Klopp urges Liverpool owners to get a deal done for £34 million powerhouse. I won't go that far. Uh, powerhouse is a bit of a piss take, especially when you know that there's Luke here, but that's out there. How to become... Uh, does that say how to become a member? How to become a member, you have to click on that pound sign. Um, in the actual chat and then you can click on the member section or you can click the link up at the top the pinned uh, comment at the top and it'll take you to the section then you click on member then you become a member and pick whichever um, you know slot you want whichever whether you want to go for the I think it's like 2.99 and then it goes with the up to like I think it's like 7.99 so you can pick whichever bandwidth you want to go to so that's it become a member 
So Young Club has reportedly urged uh, the Liverpool hierarchy to do whatever it takes to sign one defensive tar- uh, transfer target from uh, Serie A. According to Tuto Sport, the Reds are ready uh, to go back uh, to Torino with an offer of 40 million euros, 34.3 million pounds, uh, for purchase, having seen a 30 million euro, 25.7 million pound bid rejected. So this is the second offer now. The 56-year-old is believed to have wanted a uh, Dutch centre-back uh, for more than two years already and has impl- implored Anfield Chiefs to get the deal done for the player at any cost, although Napoli are also in the frame for him. So it's interesting. We made a 30 million euro bid, which is around 26 million pounds. We then also, we then also um, are looking to make a 34 million pound bid, 40 million euros, but Lukeba's cheaper. Lukeba's price tag is 30 million pounds, 35 million euros is cheaper. And he's better. He's, a high, he's the most highly rated young French centre-back right now coming out of league on. He's the high, most highly rated. At Liverpool Football Club, I like, nah, let's go for Persians. We like signing Dutch players. We don't even have a Dutch manager. Or do we have a Dutch manager? I thought our manager was German. Or is he Dutch? I'm a bit confused. Who's, who's making these signings? Hmm... So, considering the track record Liverpool have in the transfer market uh, during Young Clubs a year in, I won't go that far because if we talk about pre summer 2018, that was all Michael Edwards anyway, because Klopp even knows that. Because you go back to January 2021, where Klopp turned around and stated, when Klopp turned around and stated that somebody else controls the transfers at Liverpool, if anything before uh, summer 2018 or even January 2000, actually maybe summer 2022, before summer 2022, it was all Michael Edwards. Uh, the eight-year tenure at the club, uh, the board would generally be wise to head uh, heed the, excuse me, the request of the manager. It's a seem, a seemingly so keen to get shares uh, to Anfield. Must, uh, he must have viewed the 23-year-old as someone who would uh, be perfect fit for what he wants uh, from his defence. Uh, the six four three centre-back is unsurprisingly dominant in the air given his height, winning two aerial duels per uh, game last season in the Serie A. Two aerial duels per game. While well, stacking averaging 1.97 per uh, match ranks him among the na- top 19% position of players in Europe, uh, five, ma- uh, five main leagues in the last uh, 12 months. As I've gone to FB Ref, by the way, he's also adept at retaining possession uh, with uh, 88.1% pass completion, a rate over the past year. Uh, so he seems to uh, boast plenty of quality both on and off the, the ball. Uh, is he as good as Luke Eber? Not my assessment if you have a brain. Uh, Klopp appears to have made his opinion of uh, the play very clear. Yeah, so basically the two targets Klopp's going for is Romeo Lavia and Pershers, which it's like, how do you go from Drew Bellingham to McAllister is quite crazy to me. So, yeah. So now it's over to the hierarchy and field to do what they can to try and grant their manager his wish regarding shares. We'll see. Have you figured it out, rude boy, or are you just asking the question? Uh, people remember to hit the like button below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So the next uh, report, which is by Football Italia, West Ham may offer 20 million euros plus Vlasic for Torino shirts. This is by Paulo Hayes, 7th July 2023, which is today. So West Ham are interested in picking up her shirts uh, this summer and thinking of offering Torino around 20 million euros and uh, Nicola Vlasic uh, for the defender report. Suggests so, yes, the 23-year-old shirts uh, joined the Granata last uh, summer from Ajax in a deal worth around 9.4 million euros. And immediately impressed in Italy, showing his intelligence and defensive solid, uh, solidity. The Dutch defenders already attracted the attention of multiple clubs around Europe, including Napoli and Liverpool, but Torino have remained firm for the time being. As reported by La, Sam- uh, La Stampa, West Ham are also interested in picking up shares at this time and may have an advantage in the rivals uh, in the form of Lasic. Torino have already been in contact with the Hammers to try and set up a new deal for the Croatia forward and his inclusion in the negotiation for shares could prove decisive. West Ham would also be willing to pay 20 million euros uh, as well, a deal which may be enough to convince the Granata to give up on the Dutch insured shares. Leif Torino would look to replace him with Rodrigo uh, Bekau, uh, who, uh, who has only a year left on his contract with Udinese. So let me do a quick little research. Where is his name? Last 17 million euros is valued on transfer market. And he was on loan to Torino as well last season. So he's worth 17 million euros. So they're basically saying he was on loan. You can keep him. And then 
they'll give you 20 million euros on top of it. And he's worth 17 million euros on the transfer market. Now, they're not the only club that's linked with uh, Persia's, by the way. There's one other club that's linked with him I've seen within the last half an hour, which is Crystal Palace. Mark A is linked with the move away. He might go Newcastle, he may go somewhere else. We're linked with him. Tottenham, Chelsea are linked with him, excuse me. So we'll see what happens there. Hendrik, welcome to the show. A club says uh, they want uh, the right player. He means uh, they want a cheap player. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Johnny says, how do I rate sports like? If you ask me that question in 2020, very highly. If you ask me now, I will say, so I will say like this. This is the way I'll give you a rating, actually. So 10 being the highest, 0 being the lowest, right? In 2020, I rated him very highly. So it was like, Eight, nine, nine. I'll go with. I rate him very, very highly. I made the statement in the twenty-one, twenty-two that if he rips the league apart when he went to Leipzig, then he could be in that sort of De Bruyne conversation, possibly with consistency and so forth. I do not believe he did that. I believe he fell off. Rather than being a nine, he fell off to a seven. Joining Liverpool Football Club, the optimism is that he can get from a seven to an eight. But because of our setup and the style of play and the bullshit plays we got, no offense, the players that take away from other other players, like Trent taking away from Thiago and so forth, how they don't complement one another and how they're selfish and so forth, then I don't expect him to hit the seven or even an eight. I expect him to drop off. I expect him to be somewhere around five or six. That's why I expect him to be around. So what I rate him as, I rate him as like a fair rating is like a solid seven on the way to eight. Like, if you look at my rating system, world-class, great, good, average, crap. In 2020, I would have rated Dominic Sabozlai as a good player on the verge of being a great player. He was on the way to being a great player. What he did for Leipzig, which last season I saw some bits and bobs and so forth, I would put him solidly in the good position. But I expect him from at Liverpool Football Club to, over course of time, not to just be a good player or to be a great player. I expect him to actually decline. I expect them to decline. So imagine, so I imagine ten would be Prime Zidane, and I would be Curtis Young. <laughs> Next report: Liverpool are reported interested in signing a defender who has incredible pace. Uh, one hour ago, James Book wrote this rouse in the cup. So, uh, reported Liverpool target Mickey Van der Ven has a hailed as a simply incredible speed. Uh, Van der Ven has uh, been heavily linked with the move to Anfield as the red search for a left-footed defender. There's one already there, by the way, James Brook, if you're watching. There's already one else out there called Lukeba. Castello Lukeba at Leon. Right there in front of your face. Why you haven't written a report, I have no idea. Why you haven't made a written a report? Even the local.com will tend to throw these suggestions out there. May have, may not have written a report. I don't know the answer to it. Van der Ven has been heavily linked with the move to Anfield as a red search for a left-footed defender. For now, it looks like Tottenham Hotspur have uh, jumped ahead of them in the race, but Liverpool haven't been ruled out of it yet. Uh, not really, because uh, we don't wait for people to rule us out. We rule ourselves out, because that's our new strategy, right? Not only do we wait for players, we ping-point a player and we wait a whole year just to miss out on them, but we also, now this is our new style, we rule ourselves out our deals. We'll say that we know we're not interested, whereby we're in a market where we're interested in players, right? Because there's a necessity to sign players, whether it's for one position, two positions, three positions, four positions, however many. When you have three options, like when we talk about Karam, Kone and Gravenberch, and you've got one slot available and you're like, nah, let's not go for those three because we want Lavia. And you just leave yourself with one option. And if that play goes to Arsenal, then those three other options, you screwed yourself over. Now you've got no, you got no options, no alternatives. Well done, Liverpool Football Club. So this is our new style now. It's like we turn down footballers. Crazy, isn't it? Profile in the 22 year ahead of a potential Premier League move. Uh, today, BBC Sports spoke to a director, uh, Volendam, uh, Van, uh, Volendam van der Ven's uh, former side. In the Nether Netherlands, after coming across uh, the Wolfsburg man as a teenager, is clear what stood out uh, to Ruben John Kind. We have uh, a lot of experience with the youngsters. We look at strengths and we saw uh, a Cruyffian uh, defender and a lot of uh, risk taking, incredible speed. I have uh, never seen something like that, a uh, young kind explains. We also saw defensively, uh, uh, he, uh, Van der Ven, was a, a little bit weak, especially in. Agility, one on one defending, heading some things, uh, some things in tactical areas and things we could work on. His uh, special weapon uh, was already there. I worked with Ajax uh, with uh, fast players, but this was incredible. That pace uh, was tested in a 60 meter dash. 
he runs seven seconds flat after a training session with a starting start uh, with a standing start seven six seconds in a 60 meter dash seven seconds in a 60 meter dash that's pretty good that that's fast so a loop will slow down uh slow down van der Ven chase so as things stands it looks likely unlikely loop will bring in van der Ven special weapon uh, van der Ven special weapon to unfill the summer pause and the reason being is i mean if you really look follow the tottenham Hotspur transfer where he's been linked with tottenham Hotspur, he supposedly has agreed parcel terms something he hasn't done with Liverpool football club the price uh, doesn't look that bad. The player seems interested, but for whatever reason, the Reds don't appear to be actively pursuing him. Yeah, because they want for shows, because just whoever you are. Like, again, people will try to come to their own conclusions, but whenever I make a conclusion, I'm all of a sudden a hater. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm too negative. And, but I'm always right. Currently in ICU. You're in ICU? Blood, what's going on? Uh, that's fine, of course. Uh, we tend to trust local judgment in the transfer market. I don't. I don't trust local football club whatsoever. I mean, we have owners who don't care about football. We have a manager who's turning to Arsene Wenger when he lost the plot. We have an infrastructure which is disastrous. We've just had another backroom staff member who left uh, to go to Saudi to join Stephen Gerrard. We've just got a temporary assistant. Um, we've got a temporary sporting director. We have a coach, assistant manager who's doing all the deals, who's practically the manager. Remember Jacob Bouvac, he said that in 2020. He was practically the manager without doing interviews. How much does that ring true right now? Look how all the Dutch players were signing. One of the targets could be Levy Colwell. Um, so, yeah, great. Let's get Levy Colwell because uh, one of our other players is trying to agent Harvey Elliott. Another player we can add to the list of players that players are, our players are trying to sign. Uh, get Liverpool to sign and we miss out on. Unless you got a Dutch passport, a Portuguese passport, you don't sign a chance, man. Another is uh, perhaps uh, Goncalo Inacio from Sporting Lisbon, the same player that said he wanted to go to Manchester United. Yeah, okay. James Broke, please, man. Uh, for the time being, we suggest that either look at better options uh, than Van der Ven. Um, nonetheless, Liverpool could still, uh, made, still be made to regret if they don't push uh, harder for the Dutchman with Tottenham looking at the most likely destination. He could go on to be a big success in the Premier League. If Van der Ven does arrive on the shores, uh, we will look forward to seeing uh, his uh, share pace, even if it isn't with Liverpool. Yeah, all the best, man. Liverpool interested in Asane Diaw. Uh, Baldak, uh, Badalak uh, Parikh wrote this 7th July 2023 on the hard tackle. Don't read all of this article, but I'll just mention it. Um, according to AS, uh, which is Spanish media, Liverpool are keen on having Asane Diaw in the ranks. The 17 year old has been a sensational form of late. And then, I mean, Four goals and two assists is not sensational. And there has been a lot of interest in services from across Europe. So, uh, from what I remember, let me quickly go to his. Leipzig are interested in him, by the way, as well, just in the report. So, he plays for uh, Betis uh, Deportivo, which is most likely the second team. But he has played 20 games with four goals and two assists. I was right. And he's a 17 year old, but he's a left finger. So, another position we need to sign for, right? Let's go sign another left finger. The last report, by the way, and a look at the previous comment. Currently in ICU. Oh, you mean Claire Shawns? Claire Shawns in ICU. Oh, it's in Indian town. The last report, which is by rounds in the cop, Liverpool decide 22 year old player is too expensive to sign. He wants too much uh, wages. Six hours ago, James Brook wrote this. So, this is according to Fabrizio Romano, by the way, uh, who he's quoting. So, at the moment, Kevin Trump's situation is cold. He's uh, considered too expensive, says Romano. Not just with Nice, but also on the salary side. So, uh, at the moment, it's complicated, but one player that has uh, one player, but, uh, but the player has always been appreciated. Not completely closed off, but it does sound like something Liverpool are actively pursuing. So, from my perspective, I don't believe that Liverpool are pursuing Kevin Trump, even though James Brook was the make it sound like as if Liverpool are pursuing Kevin Tram. In my personal opinion, Liverpool are not going for Kevin Tram. And I'll tell you the reason why. Because this is a built-in excuse. He's asking for too much money. So he's basically shoving... Because Kevin Tram is not going to come out and say, I'm not asking for too much money. If he signs for another club, he can come out and do an interview and say that, listen, I wasn't asking for too much money. And he can throw Liverpool under the bus. But because he's in a position where he's looking to engineer a move away from knees, he doesn't want to scoop at any potential you know, viable options by you know him coming out and throwing Liverpool under the bus because then they may think well why would he do that for and you know it's just a very sensitive subject so 
from my perspective, there is no truth to Kevin Trump asking for crazy money. He's on 14 and a half grand a week. You're telling me that if you go back to uh, Kevin Trump and you throw a counter, let's say Liverpool offer him 50 grand a week. He comes back and he's like, I want 150 grand a week or I want 120 grand a week, which is probably what he said. I want 120 grand a week. You can counter and say, listen, we'll give you 80 grand a week because you have to meet somewhere in the middle, right? You have to negotiate. And that's a fair offer because you can say that, listen, this is what we're looking to pay. This is 80 grand, 70 grand, whatever. And that's as much as we're willing to pay. In other words, it's your decision now whether you want to sign for Liverpool Football Club because this is the terms we're willing to offer you and that's the, that's the end of the story. And if he doesn't like it, meaning that he wants more money, then of course it's going to be his fault because he wants too much money. But I do not even believe that we even negotiated. I don't even believe there's a counter offer there. I believe Liverpool Football Club uh, asked him how much he wants or we made him an offer and that was the end of the story. Or we asked most likely how much he wants and we were like, nah, that's too much. We can't offer you that much. Rather than going back again. So from uh, my perspective, even though Romano's coming out with this because he's probably been told it and if Romano knows the number, which I've said is 120 grand a week, this is my assumption, then prove it that it's not 120 grand a week or prove it's higher than that number. And on top of all of that, what I believe is that Liverpool Football Club are purposely giving this and feeding this information to a so-called credible journalist, information Romano, and the reason why they're doing that is to make the story credible. If you can give it, if you give it to James Pace and James Pace comes out with, he's asking for too much money, what do Liverpool fans immediately say? It's BS. Because he's not the most reliable journalist out there. He's got an error rate of like quite high. Like he's unreliable. He's always hitting a miss. Everybody knows this. He's the Michael Fish of Liverpool transfers. But if you give it to a so-called credible journalist, the masses are going to believe immediately. It's just logical and it's common sense. So that's the reason why when I look at this whole situation, when it comes to Kevin Trump, Klopp is not going for Kevin Trump. Not because he doesn't want Kevin Trump or he's not good for the actual team. Number one, he probably doesn't have a Dutch passport and he's not, uh, you know, Portuguese, obviously. And this is me taking digs now. But it's probably to spite me. That's probably the reason why. Because I've called him all the names under the sun. He's spiting me right now. At his own expense. So when you get sapped, Jürgen Klopp, then don't come crying. So there we go. I know Edwin San and Desar has a broken brain bleed. Oh, really? Yeah, but you didn't pop Edwin, Edwin Van der Sar, did you, mate? You were like, uh, currently in ICU and you put uh, up an uh, arrow. And the comment before that was, so imagine 10 uh, would be Prime Zidane and 1 would be Curtis Jones. And then he said, put it in an ICU and then and there's no comment there. And then he said, no, look at previous comment. What previous comment? That's just the Curtis Jones one. And then he said, no, I don't want the Had a brain bleed. Okay. That makes sense now. But <laughs> when he said, look at the previous one, like, there was no name of Edwin van der Sar. I'm supposed to put that together. So anyway, the reports are basically stay Liverpool Football Club. I've made an offer of, of uh, 26 million pounds, 30 million euros for per shares. It got swiftly rejected. Um, Napoli had made an offer as well, which was 25 million euros, around 21 million pounds. That got rejected as well. There is supposedly Crystal Palace in for him as well. I've just seen it. I haven't read the report. West Ham are in for him. Vlasic was on loan there for the season and they're willing to say, here, keep him. But then also they're willing to say, we'll give you 20 million euros. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But from my perspective, it looks like when you read reports like I did from the Empire of the Cup, which Klopp is ordering the owners to go get Pershers. It looks like this is the one that he wants. Whether we'll get the deal done and dusted or not, I have no idea. Do I like this? No, not really. Because I prefer Castello Lukeba, but Castello Lukeba will go strengthen Chelsea or he'll go somewhere else and he'll strengthen them. And then when people realize how good Castello Lukeba is, and they'll be like, why, why can't we sign him? Because I threw a poll out yesterday on social media and I put, who did I put? I put Van der Ven, Persia, Persia, Van der Ven, Gehi and Castello Lukeba. No one voted for Castello Lukeba, as usual. But this is just where social media warriors are there. They're not really football fans. I mean, they're football fans, but they're just not very deep knowledge. Lukeba's miles better. Simple as that. And it's cheaper. Based on what Leon are asking for. 35 million euros, 30 million pounds. And he's left-footed. And he's a beast. Like, it's like, what more do you want? But... Let's just go for Persia's, won't we? And he's younger than Persia's as well. He's got everything going for him. Dribbles out with the ball, long balls, tackling, anticipation. Highly rated young French centre-back. The best coming from French football. But you know what? Let's go for Persia's because Pigeon Face wants him. Because Klopp doesn't have a brain for himself because he lets Pigeon Face do all the deals, right? Because that's what it's come down to now. Message probably blocked. No, there's, you're not blocked. If your message was blocked, then what would have ended up happening is you wouldn't be able to message. Because <laughs> you would have been blocked. <laughs> So, you probably didn't put it in. I don't know. Pause. Anyway, I'm out of here. We'll see if I'll be back a little bit later on. But, 
We're going for purchase, people. Do you want him? Good for you guys. I don't want him. We we basically signed players that I don't want. I didn't want McAllister when he drew Bellingham. I don't want Sabosli. I want it. Kevin Tram, Graven Birch, Kone, Orogate, Kavicha, Cavaldio, Castello Lukeba, who I did my back pocket in the summer 2022. Sarko Mendy. This goes on, but we got Klopp, right? We got Klopp. Funny thing is, I watched Troops' in stream last night. This latest show. And you guys watch that guy's channel who says he's got sources and all he's quoting is Neil Jones. I started laughing my ass off when I heard when I when he was saying that oh we used to submit a thirty million pound bid for uh Lavia. It's on Twitter. Neil Jones quoted it. I could stop laughing. I was in stitches, man. I was crying. <laughs> my stomach was hurting. I'm out of here. So that wraps up LFC transfer talk. Click on the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and thanks very much for watching.